There's nothing unusual about hospitals using computers to collect patient data and vital information, assessing needs and prescribing. But at the University Hospital in Birmingham, the Patient Information Communication System, or PICS, developed in-house, has evolved using PCs and mobile computers at the bedside to create an invaluable tool to help in the prevention of hospital-acquired venous thromboembolism, or VTE. From my experience of working in previous hospitals and looking at audits that have been carried out, looking at uh, anticoagulation, very few patients in hospital are actually on the correct medication and subsequently the risks of uh, deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism due to immobility in hospital are actually quite a bit higher. Whereas I think using the PIC system, my instinct would be that close to nearly 100% of patients will have, would have had a decision made about anticoagulation. We know that using bits of paper and individual members of staff um, is flawed. Tens of thousands of patients every year are admitted through this electronic system. So we designed a, a separate program to run within PICS, so it's that when the usually junior doctor was entering the patient's information, that that part of the admission was compulsory, that you couldn't go beyond there to prescribe medications or to see blood results without performing that electronic assessment. It became a compulsory assessment. We didn't want just to risk assess people and identify risks for thrombosis. Uh, we also wanted to give expert advice using the tool, using rules within the tool, such that the right patient was advised the right treatment at the right time, at the right dose. So as well as identifying risk factors, once the, the assessment's been complete, it will give an information uh, uh, at the bottom of the screen for the, for the junior doctor normally, uh, telling them what action we would like them to take based on the information that they've entered into the system. PICS will prescribe a variety of items like compression socks and drugs, but not drugs administered by injection. Doctors still review the advice and make their own clinical decisions. It assumes that the doctor is clinically totally competent and knows what they need to do at any point in time. It just monitors other factors that they might have overlooked, like other diseases that the patient has, allergies that the patient has, other drugs that they're currently on, and warns the doctor if there is a possible interaction between the drug they're about to prescribe and some other factor, and lets them know so they can consider that when they decide whether or not to prescribe that drug. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Drugs can be prescribed quicker. If the doctor's not on the ward, you can just ring them and ask, ask them to prescribe it on the computer, and they can do it from wherever they are, so it's, it's quicker. Having PICs in hospital reduces the inefficiencies at the patient's bedside. You're able to access prescription charts, you're able to access blood results, you're able to look at confidential patient Post details, whereas previously, um, when it was very much paper documentation, there was a lot of toing and froing, walking back from patient bedside to look at computers and, and looking at drug charts, and, and it was just um, a lot easier to make mistakes when it came to prescribing. Extra safeguards have been built in to re-perform patient assessments in 24 hours, if all the required information cannot be input during admissions. The system will also remind and alert staff if a PICS recommended intervention has not been carried out or a drug administered. The tool has certainly helped us to identify the patients that are at the highest risk. And we've certainly seen from our audits that we've achieve a, a very high level of, of, of assessment and certainly the amount of people receiving the appropriate intervention, the appropriate drugs to reduce the risk, has gone up from uh, in, on some wards less than 10% now to over 70%. Um, no system is perfect. Uh, certainly there, there are always uh, unforeseen problems. There may be clinical uh, judgment as to, as to the fact that the the tool's recommendations may not be appropriate for that individual, but we certainly feel that we've, you know, from our, from our auditing, that we've achieved a, a dramatic improvement in, in intervention.